I'm here a little earlier than normal. So there is a... Uh, this is just weird. I'm gonna have to get one of those for my wife. We got here this early because I'm gonna well, we, you know, me and the mouse in my pocket because my son's decided not to come today. Get out here earlier because I'm gonna start at the back of the park. Because I always end up coming into the back and finding some really great deals, but by then I've already spent my money. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head to the back first and start there, hopefully find the great deals, spend my money, get more games. We'll see how it goes. Worth a shot, right? Oh, look, grills. See, that's how you get my attention. Are you videotaping your yes. experience today? Yeah, because I've never seen one of these. Oh. The Tony Hawk Foundation? Queen. That's just cool. Hey there, YouTube. Uh, it got cut a little short. Uh, it started to rain a little bit, and I found a screaming deal. So grabbed it. We're going to head home and take a look at the stuff I got. See you later back home and it's uh, time to show the pickups. Uh, like I said, it was kind of rainy, so really didn't stay there that long. Ended up coming home. So I'll go over some of the other pickups that I got throughout the week. Now first of all, let me start with uh, this big box back here, or this laundry basket rather. It is full of PC games that I store throughout. Don't know why, but they threw it out, their loss is my game. Now the first thing that I found while I was walking around out there, and I didn't get video of this, uh, just because I was kind of like wandering by, didn't even, he didn't have any video games out, but then I saw like this sticking out of the, sticking out of the box back there. And I went over and looked at it and went, wait, I know what that is. And if anybody's played Halo, you know that this is uh, the plasma pistol. And there's blinks on the side. It's got a reload button up top. And luckily enough, he had two. Only one has batteries, so gotta get batteries put in both of them. My sons have had endless amounts of fun with these already and they'll be going up on my wall of guns along with all my gun cons. So, there are those. Ended up with a $15 gift card for doing good at work. I uh, went to Target, picked up Final Fantasy 3. I'm actually playing back through all the Final Fantasies. I didn't have three. I have one and two on the GBA cart. I'm almost through Final Fantasy 1 again. And while I was there, on clearance was Centipede Infestation for the 3DS. Now I picked this up and it's essentially a twin stick shooter with one stick. Figure that one out. And it's actually pretty fun. Uh, I sat and played it at work and let one of my co-workers play it and he was like, man, it's fun. Nothing to write home about, but it's fun. So that's what I got. Now out at Traders Village, I really only bought two things. Uh, the guns and uh, one big thing. So I ended up picking up a GameCube. But that's not all. Traders Village is a flea market for those of you who uh, haven't figured that out. And what it is that they have, occasionally have cool stuff for sale. Now, I saw the GameCube sitting there and I was like, okay, well, let's see what else they've got. So, uh, and I hummed and hawed about it and kind of wandered around a little bit and then went back and ended up buying it. Now it came with uh, all the cables, of course. Cables. And it came with one. Two controllers. So two controllers and the GameCube. Okay, good there. Came with the box. Nothing inside, but 
you know, came with the box. I don't have a GameCube box, I don't think, anywhere. I don't see one around. See the Dreamcast one? PS3. One day I'll show you the rest of the room, but not until I get it cleaned. Or organized, rather. But, there you go. GameCube box, that came with it. And a whole host of games. Now, a lot of games, and I don't think I had any of these, so a lot of these really helped fill out my collection for the GameCube. Uh, Super Monkey Ball 2, I do have Super Monkey Ball, and most of these are complete. There are like four of them that are not, but I'm not going to take the time to open them. But uh, Super Monkey Ball 2, uh, Ratatouille, and it actually still has the free thing in here so that you can go see the movie, which is funny because it expired five years ago. Uh, Teen Titans really like this show, have no clue what the game's about, and but it does say one to four player co-op, so I'm hoping it's a brawler that my sons and I can all play. Uh, American Shopper 2 Full Throttle, no clue what this game's going to be about, I assume we're going to be building bikes and racing them around. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Um, oh, also uh, two memory cards, a 4 meg card, and a 128 meg card, so it's good to have more memory cards, because more memory helps out. Uh, Call of Duty The Finest Hour. Uh, one that I'm actually happy to get, really excited about, SSX Tricky. I like Tricky, I think it was one of the better games. Uh, Tony Hawk Underground. And then we've also got Tony Hawk's American Wasteland. And to round it out, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3. Um, now, a bunch of sports games. Uh, Madden 07. NBA Courtside 2002. MVP Baseball 2005. NCAA College Football 2K3. Uh, racing games. Uh, NASCAR Race for the Cup 2005. Really? You thought you were going to serialize this, EA? Uh, Need for Speed Carbon. I uh, don't think I've played Carbon. Uh, but of course, I now have a new copy of Ha Ha! The greatest game ever that I love, Need for Speed Underground. Still playing this on the Xbox. Uh, now, I've got four games left, and these are the four that I kind of were humming and hawing about trying to, I was trying to get just to buy the games, but they wanted to sell it as a big pack. Uh, Shadow the Hedgehog. I remember my uh, nephew wanted that for Christmas one year and it looked really interesting. Uh, Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, Sonic Adventure Battle 2. Connects to your Game Boy Advance so you can take the, take your chow on the go. And the last two. Uh, games that are revered by many and very hard to find, at least for me. Pikmin and Pikmin 2. Now I know that uh, I have Pikmin. I picked it up a, a while ago and I uh, picked up Pikmin 2 because this... Let me calm down. This game's hard to find. So ended up picking all that up. All of that 20 games, 2 memory cards, 2 controllers, avian power cables, the GameCube itself, and the box. Can you hear the plane? Let me wait. So all of that for $47. Uh, I thought that was a really good deal, uh, especially getting uh, some of the games, a lot of these games that I don't have. So they go right into the collection, help me fill it out a little bit more. Probably cut that out. Didn't explain it well. I'll do a whole separate video on that. Thank you very much for watching, uh, and as always, play on!